phones. We got Donnie from Georgia. Donnie, you're on the SDS. Yo, what do you guys think about Fedor getting straight up exposed this weekend? <laughs> I want to. I really want to see him fight Randy Couture now because he got cut open with one punch from Matt Lennon, and we know he's not a striker. Yeah. I mean, say if Randy yeah. Couture puts him down and elbows him open, and he's going to cut open within seconds. Yeah. So, Donnie, Donnie, do you think that Fedor cheated by grabbing the ropes? Oh, yeah. Did you see that? Lennon had him up in the air, and he holds onto the rope like Kenny Florian was holding onto the cage. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> He's a uh, do you, you really think he got exposed, huh? Yeah, Matt Lennon was tossing him around like a little girl. And then he, he grabbed tossed, onto the ropes. He grabbed onto the ropes. How many throws did Matt Lennon right. have? How many throws did Matt Lennon have? He picked him up. you seen him carry How many throws? You said he threw him around like a little girl. Hey, it would have been a throw if he didn't grab the ropes. Come on. You know, and then he got hurt from that one punch just like Otor and Tim Sylvia. You seen him grabbing his eye and all his blood still splattering out. The ref should have stopped the fight right there. It should have been over. <laughs> uh, well, Jeff, you're gonna have to, Jeff, you're going to have to watch this fight because I think old Donnie is uh, a little uh, off on his uh, his assessment of the fight. I mean, Matt Lillard did not just throw him around like a little girl. He got him body, body locked and picked him up. I mean... What was Matt Lindley going to do to him on the ground? If he, even if he lands, we got Jimmy, Jimmy Shaker on the phone. Jimmy, you're hey, what's going on, fellas? Not, not much. Just ducking all the barbs. Yeah, Email the first barbs. thing when I read Gross's article, you know what I remembered? The Elite XC promo videos. You know Josh Gross is associated with him, and him and Gary Shaw have been hating on Dana White since day one. You can tell <laughs> this guy is on the other side of the fence. Come on. <laughs> Do you remember the? Do you remember the? Uh, all the UFC, UFC ones he did. and the UFC DVDs that Josh Gross is all over. That's back in the day. He got fired yeah. from the UFC, and now he's working with EXP, and he's a hater now. <laughs> well, I, I can't debate the hater thing. Even Frank Shamrock threw that on Josh, but uh, See, even yeah, Frank I, Shamrock, I, somebody Josh Gross worked for, is, is calling him a hater. Now, if, if he's Josh calling him a Gross? hater, imagine what everybody else thinks. How does Josh Gross work for Frank Shamrock? He works for the EXC. He doesn't get paid for that. Does they got Kevin him in the Iola? promo videos hyping up does everything Kevin, like, oh, this Kevin, guy is amazing. He's talking about does, sorry guys, sorry so fighters. He's Kevin, talking about this guy's the best fighter in the world. Like, come Kevin on, Iola Gross. For the UFC? Huh? Does Kevin Ioli work for the UFC? Yeah, obviously. The guy is the only one who's did interviewing Dana his, White. That guy doesn't work his, for nobody else. Did you read his column yesterday? <laughs> nope. He slayed the UFC in the steroid uh, issue, big time. Killed him. Not the that way Gross did. Doesn't have, it doesn't. Josh threw the Elite XC in that letter. I don't know if it made it into the final cut. Um, I believe yeah, he threw them in about. That's because Gary Shaw edited the letter, so he took that part out of the final cut. <laughs> Is it in there, Jeff? Yeah, it's in there. Okay. It's in there. So, yeah, I guess that kind of blows that theory up for you, Jimmy. No way, bro. I'm a little pot. I don't, that's, come on, who's that? That's Johnny Blaze. That's not Jimmy Shaker. Get it right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for your uh, take there. Interesting. Thanks for your stupidity. Ooh. You had to wait till he was off the phone and you totally pushed I'm away. a coward. <laughs> uh, I just didn't wanna I just didn't wanna argue because he he wouldn't stop talking, and every time you tried to make a point, you know, all you heard was blah 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 from him and blah 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 from you, and there's no way I could say anything, and it was just a mess, and I knew that it's best just to let him hang up, and then I could get my word in. Uh, see, see, here's the funny part. Donnie, Donnie's a keyboard warrior. He'll call you out, but I want to see if he calls in the show. You won't call in. Wait, wait, wait. Somebody's calling. Maybe this is Donnie. Sound off. Hello. Yo, this is Donnie. <laughs> Donnie did call in the show. Johnny, why do you hate Frank so much? Craig, he overrated. Trig's overrated or overhyped? What is his, Donnie? Same thing. Johnny, what do you do for a living? Uh, I just got fired from my job. I just smoked a blunt. That, that's a shocker. Yeah. You, got fired, you got fired from where? Huh? Where, where'd you get fired from? I got fired from the dock. From the what? Dock. The dock? Oh, okay. Dock, you a long shoreman? What are you doing on the dock, Donnie? Hey, Johnny, turn down your radio. I don't want to hear myself 15 seconds ago. Turn it down for a second. Talk hey, to turn us. Turn it down, son. Yeah, turn, turn it down. Turn it down, son. Turn it down, son. You got a son? Pass the blunt, son. Donnie. Yeah. Focus on the conversation. 
Yeah. One word at a time here. Take your medication. Focus. Focus. <laughs> Donnie, how many times have you been fired from jobs in your career? About three. Yeah. That's just okay. a fright, now, Donnie. Now, let's address the issue at hand. First of all, jackass. <laughs> I can't run from the UFC. They release me. You can't well, run I'm from the UFC. Really you want to run from the UFC. I'm from Diego Sanchez. Someday. Diego doesn't want to fight me. I actually asked to fight Diego instead of fighting, uh, instead of fighting St. Pierre. Right after I lost the match, I said I'd like to fight Diego next. They gave me St. Pierre, so I asked for Diego to fight. Don't tell me I'm running to the WFA to get away from Sanchez. I'm not, the least thing I'm scared of. Well, after fighting St. Pierre and fighting Huge, you think I'm scared of Sanchez? Sanchez? Fight will happen. Johnny, what? If you tell me to Diego, the fight will happen. Diego didn't yeah, accept the fight. Back. The yeah. UFC, the UFC would not give him. Would yes, not they give would. You know they would. Oh, no. dude. Yeah, yeah. dude, dude, are you listening to the conversation? Do you think Trigg's making this up, Donnie? Yeah. Well, then what are you, what are you tripping for, dude? I want him to challenge Diego so they can get the fight. Okay, Trig, go ahead, challenge Diego, please. Get off my ass, Donnie. <laughs> Fuck off, right? <laughs> I feel, I really care less. It, the next fight is me. My next fight. It doesn't make a difference if it's Sanchez or somebody else. If I'm in the UFC, then it's probably going to be Sanchez because they got me back in the UFC. If not, then it's going to be somebody else. Oh. All right, Donnie, get off my phone. <laughs> what a surprise. Donnie's been fired three times. <laughs> uh, see, D Donnie can almost be okay. See, I, when I talk to him on the phone, he's not as annoying as, as he is on the live fighter chat. You get him on the live fighter chat, he's freaking out on me. My gosh. Dude, he's, he's a knucklehead. He is I, a knucklehead. I, you know what really honestly, I think he means well? I do too. I just don't understand how he's going about it. Donnie, we, we, we somewhat tolerate you. I'm not, I'm not going to say we like you because you drive me crazy when you're on live fighter chat and you post stupid stuff on the forum but we tolerate you. You're, you could almost be okay. Just just remember the keyboard is your friend. Don't, just, don't get all crazy on me, man. I know, he's retarded. In the meantime, we got Jimmy Shaker on the phone. Jimmy, you're on hey, the list so for us. Jimmy Shaker here. What's up? Yeah, I wanted to uh, talk about why, why is the UFC sending St. Pierre to the Wolves so quick? They got him fighting Josh Koscheck. That's yeah. like a terrible matchup for him after he just got dropped by a five foot six Brazilian Jiu Jitsu natural lightweight fighter. Josh Koscheck <laughs> is like a Mack truck. He's going to drop St. Pierre in the first. Do you guys think that's he a smart well, matchup for him? He very well could. Um, I think it's a tough matchup for GSP. All right. I have, we got someone else beat down a low. Save us. Yo, this is Donnie Seven. What's going on? Donnie. Donnie? There's a lot of rumors that say you're Jimmy Shaker, Donnie. Well, Jimmy Shaker is my boy, but that ain't me, son. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, what uh, do you hear about uh, GSP uh, clowning my boy Matt Sarah? Yeah, we we've we've heard we've heard that, and you know we talked. Did you about listen it. to it? I mean, have you I, heard it? I didn't find a link to it. I looked for That's, it. I didn't, it's I didn't find terrible. Anything. But uh, no, I, I, I I didn't think it was that bad, man. He said well, he I said that uh, he said that if uh, he was fighting Matt Hughes, he right. would have pulled out of the fight. Like you like Matt Sarah's a little bum that he can beat up. Like it ain't yeah. nothing. Wow, that's, he that's paid cold. the price for it, didn't he? Yeah, he got knocked out cold. I hope that they yeah. put them both on the tough show so that he can get knocked out, too, inside See, of the house. Thanks a lot, Donnie. I I'm pretty sure that Donnie's Jimmy Shaker, Gross. I, I don't know who that is. Yeah. Yo, what's up? This is the connoisseur from San Diego, what's California. Up? You know what I'm saying. What's up, man? Chillin' just wanted to give the confirmation that that is the same cat. He rolls with the same bunch of dudes that are all him. They don't know. They don't know anything about MMA. Sounds like he has some kind of like hip hop slang or whatever. Why don't you let him know I'll battle him in any element of hip hop and MMA? How about that one? The connoisseur against Donnie in a rap off on the beatdown. How about we can do any kind of any element of hip hop because uh, you know it's definitely uh, more than just rap. And we can uh, go at it in the ring or cage, whatever his preference. How about I fight his whole crew because I know it's all him. <laughs> okay, man. Hey, you guys, take it easy, man. Keep you, keep doing your thing. Be easy, all right? All right, thanks a lot. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'd like to see a Josh Gross hip-hop freestyle rap. Tell Donnie. Well, actually, Donnie, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> You're a loser. <laughs> yes, Jimmy. my son. Bring it. GB, you are you're the man as always. Well, first of all, uh, I was typing in uh, Donnie in the live fighter chat. I just want to tell me and kiss my ass. <laughs> is uh, Donnie still in the live fighter chat? He is. What a day. Shouldn't he be booted by now? Well, no, he entertains me. Oh, okay. Like I said, there's nothing better than watching some guy talk shit that really has no idea what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like a, it's kind of like, well, it's kind of like well, a train wreck. Well, you know? It's kind of like me. 
Yeah, it's kind of it's, it's kind of like a train wreck, though. You know, you don't want to look at the mangled bodies, but you know, it's somehow kind of interesting. So, really, point of phrase though. Every time somebody spouts off some ignorance, we say, "Don't be a Donnie." <laughs> don't 